Hello everyone, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and we are back to continue our talk about the new event, the no longer new, the nearly completed Way of Eagles. Way of Eagles? Something like the Way of Eagles. Um, yeah, uh, let's just jump right into it at this point. Um, you know, there's if you've been following the game at all, I'm sure everybody is aware of the situation, of the, the challenges of completing this event, um, of even completing one lane in this event. Um, so, you know, I've, I am not complaining to the degree that everybody else is, um, just understand the difficulties and to the point, that point I've kind of given up on the grind. Whoops, I do need to watch that commercial. Um, so as you can see, I only have, what is it, 12,000, there we go, 15,000, almost 16. Watch this commercial, I'll be on uh, 16 one. Um, so yeah, I've, you know, this weekend I ended up spending the weekend grinding the portal and with my extra bonus I'm getting now from my hero, and the fact that most other people are grinding the way of the eagle, it allowed the portals to open a little bit longer, so I was able to earn more souls than usual. So it ended up being more productive for me there, and probably more productive than it would have been if I just stayed here grinding, grinding this event. Um, didn't have as much time to just be, you know, in front of my phone all day long every day. And for that matter, I'm not really interested in most of this stuff anyway. I mean, these legendary items, sure, yeah, they would, of course, they would benefit my squad. Getting one of these would hugely benefit my squad, but I don't. I could have been grinding the whole time, and maybe I would have earned one seventy-five thousand. So I guess there's a possibility I could, you know, buy buy enough to get one of those. But I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm not crazy crazy interested. Um, and for better or worse, there is a downtime coming here in a couple hours, where it will be about, I'm guessing, at the exact three-day mark left in the event. So in three hours, I think. Um, so what does that mean? Are they going to change? Are they going to be changing things for the, the event? Are they going to be allowing some other way to purchase feathers? Or you know, I'm sure they've seen all the complaints out there about people saying how difficult it is. Not sure if I remember if I posted this last time or mentioned it, but you know, I've seen numbers like 400 to 600 dollars being thrown about to what you need to spend to, to complete this, and you know, that would be buying everything, but. I'm certainly not doing that, especially since I'm not crazy enamored with the with the uh, items that we can get. So, so with that, you know, I'll keep watching the commercials, doing some things here and there. But, you know, I'll, I'll get whatever free stuff I can get, and then move on and wait for the next event, and hopefully get some good stuff then. So, with that, we do have a couple other things to cover. Um, did the uh, portal, like I said a few times, we got some stuff to buy there. Got some hero things. I did the dungeon a couple times and. And noticing some weird things and seeing some posts it seems like other people are as well that the dungeon is not quite as easy and predictable as it was before I did one I'm a level 47 and with you know my eight-man squad I actually I don't remember 3.7 million am I at I'm thinking 4.5 but I think that's the that's Jim Bay um, 3.6 yeah, 3 3.7 whatever Level 47, I got grouped with a guy that was level 37. I don't remember what his power was, but we got decimated. We only won like three different things, and then he ended up leaving when we lost all of our big guys. And then I tried again with going in with, uh, you know, seven my seven most powerful, and then like a cook <clears throat> to use as my sacrificial lamb, and got destroyed there. So I'm not sure, unless you have a predictable partner that you're using to make that work, I'm not sure that's a good approach. So... Yeah, I don't know. It hasn't been very productive. We still have 24 torches left, which is good. Um, ether's back up to 13. I got some couple uh, couple um, chests open, but what is this? This is an hour and a half. We're making another uh, legendary here. Almost done on my... <clears throat> I think I have one more purple shard. That Where are we at here? Nope, that's my last purple. So I produced a few things. Most of them are just going to be sharded out here pretty soon. As I start a level on my gems, um, and with that I have basically no gems, so I need to open a couple of chests there. So where are our not gems? Dust is what I meant to say, not gems. Where's our? There we go. There's our dust situation. 195 green. That's it. So we got to work on that, of course. So let's just go start making some progress and see where we get to. I don't think we're gonna be leveling up too much here, but. We're at 3121 right now, <clears throat> and 2200, I need to lower my trophies. I spent all my apples on uh, Jim Bay all weekend, so I need to start lowering my uh, my count here. You know what, let's start there. Let's start with, so you got 100,000, I think my first six-figure weekend, definitely with this account, and it was enough to earn 
two legendary rings. So let's see what we get. Soul Master Signet. Um, yeah, could be okay. I'm gonna like the the fifth slot, but. And here we go. Look at that. Four dodges and an arm. Ooh, very nice. Four dodges and uh, an attack. And it's on 100. We're going to have to uh, compare that. We might need to uh, shift some gems there. And let's see. All dodge. That's going to have to probably go to... I uh, can't remember the names. My, uh, my guy that's moving all over the place all the time. Very nice. Let's just take a quick look right now. I didn't expect to get anything usable. So I think it would either be here, you, Julie, Evan, eh, maybe, likely not, or here we go, that's the other one. <clears throat> She's all crits, which I think I want to keep. All right, what are you running? Magic Tamp, let's just do a compare real quick. This one? Yep. So we got pure damage instead of magic damage, up twice. Crit is up 150. Dodge is down 300, though. 250. That has two dodges plus three crits. And I'll get in four dot. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to have to... Uh, let's just do a straight swap here and see what 570 is our power. It only drops us 12. Yeah. So I have a hard time at this point just you know, weighing what's better and what's not. That's why I have all these just basically sitting here. But yeah, that's uh, 100, though. 99, 99, 98, and 99. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Well, that's a good. That's a good pull for sure. Let's go here. Like I said, we got maintenance coming. You know who that could be. It could be something good. It could be nothing noticeable. They don't ever communicate what's what's added unless it's like a major thing. Um, I have to wait for people on Reddit and some of the other locations that I'm following, <clears throat> this Discord groups and stuff to see what they can find and what they farm and uh, what they notice and I'll report it here as soon as I find out anything. So let's open up some of our loot from the last couple of days. Let's at least get me some dust. We got 500, we'll definitely get some feathers here as well, which like I mentioned earlier, it's not really a, a big, big item for me. Some more dust, good. <clears throat> That's a big, oh, I got a bunch of clan rewards. I certainly contribute to the clan, but this is probably my least productive I've been to the clan um, since I uh, they just basically gave me gave me stuff I mean I was top five I think in donations and top nine maybe in in points you know I was switching splitting time back and forth between this and my other accounts and since then I pretty much stopped the other accounts it's just with this and other things I'm doing it's just I just don't have time to keep up with it all so for the most part, I've just been focusing on this uh, QC Runner account. I will certainly get back to the others. And I, I've been contemplating, which is probably quite silly, of uh, just buying everything out on the TR6 account because I'm fairly, it's a lot more affordable. And I bought the 22,000 gems for uh, our diamonds for for five bucks or 10 bucks, whatever it is, deal. 10 bucks, I guess. Um, so I have tons of diamonds there, but it's not the best reward. So is it worth it? You know, maybe for the TR6 account, I don't plan on moving it anytime soon. So I'm kind of sitting on that right now, trying to figure out if I want to do something with that or just save them for later. Ooh, look at that, 950 tokens. That was a good run. All right, uh, we got 1150 tokens. Ooh, kicked butt on that one. Man, we got some dust here. We finally got some stuff to use. And then, okay, so now the portal's closed. So I went back and started uh, doing some work for the clan again, earning some power, or earning some points. Let's see where we're at. I think I'm number one in donations right now. 32, and I'm down here since I basically did nothing all weekend. I was number two, so, and I didn't do any dungeons today, I didn't do any clan wars today, I did a couple of clan wars, but I didn't do any uh, fighting or PvP or anything, just been, work was way too busy, so, um, so, you know, not bad. All right, so we got some dust, we got some stuff, we got 8.8 .8 million in coins we can do some stuff with. Um, I don't think I have enough tokens to buy here we're we're about dead here so let's finish this gem bay we'll get another i'm on my 3.7 versus 2.6 i lost a, a good guy on this one i'm just gonna let him kill me here because i basically have no chance i'm not one to give up i know i can just hit the end button which i could have just done right there but not till the last man's dead even though i'm really not even trying so i'm not using spells or anything but 
too stubborn to just to quit, just to quit. Even though that's basically what I did. All right, so let's get our reward here. We got another 750. That one I messed up. I put it on autoplay and like basically put it in my pocket as I'm doing other stuff. And I lost a, uh, I lost one of my key fighters on level eight. So it was a grind just to get to 16 on that one. And we got 10 more to 750. So that gave us a ton of feathers, as a matter of fact. Excuse me. It puts us up to almost 20k. Let's see. I'll do a quick math here. So we're gonna go up the left left hand side here. So 390. 1190, 14, 10, 16, 10, 19, 10, 23, 10, 29, 10, 49, 10,000. I'm just going to make it easy. So 11,000, 25,000. So within three days, if I pull out another four to 5,000, I can get this damaged purple. That is probably worth shooting for. Maybe. I mean, I, mean, I think I can probably get it without overly straining myself, I'm guessing. Um, so what do we have here? 11,000, we're not gonna have enough to buy another. Um, so real quick, since we can't do it, I'm gonna start this real quick, deploy the best. So there's my 4.4. Um, yep, let's go. We need to add, get that guy going. So this way I can start, uh, start building some more spells, which of course as a premium, saves us time. Plus I got, got them fully maxed out with workers here, which that alone knocks it down in 30 minutes, and I think with the premium knocks it 20 minutes for each one, so I can knock out three of these spells every hour. So get that going while we're recording. Yeah, listen, wow, look at that, 14 minutes only. Let's see what I have for my, my workers here. I think it's right here, info. 10%, not even the best, 10% of 13, a 13, and a 13, almost 14. Um, Getting them up there, I basically I'm leaving. I got two in there, just basically going up to 55 at this point. It's it's a negligible difference. So, you know, over time, as I continue to level up my fighters, I'm leveling up my uh, watchmakers. What are we calling? Is that what they are? Yeah, but they're uh, so what do we have right now? A 38 and a 45. So we're on our way to to being up there again. Two more of them. All right, what else are we going to do? Let's go, oh, yes, I remember we have, like, I haven't had much success in the dungeon, but I did uh, did get a couple chests, including I, I got another one of the ultra rare ones, so that'll be helpful. Oh, we got the corpse kaboom. Fantastic, that's a fun one. I might actually start using that one as soon as I can get them up another level. But when I'm doing like the portal and the dungeon, I think the, uh, the Ankh is still my way to go because if you, as long as you're paying attention and you know get a guy do knocked down early, you can just hit that and you, you save your revives for later. So the resurrections for later spells and whatnot. So, um, but it's PVP, you know, something like that. It might be worse going corpse kaboom or something. Which I've been reading some good things about that and haven't really done a whole lot of arena battles since I now have the ability to do that. All right, well, I don't even know where I'm at, so I'm going to come back and look at all that stuff for a moment. Ooh, there we go. Insta shard, but I won't insta shard it. But actually, as I'm my uh, my new girl is coming up, she's almost an eighty. She'll probably get that one. Um, yep, yeah, yeah, lots of stuff. Ooh, eleven thousand ether, very nice. All right, so do we have other stuff we're going to open. Might as well. I mean, we have. Although if I'm going to get coins, I don't because I'm almost maxed out on coins. Um, because like all this stuff, I mean, not that I'm not going to open anything with food, but um, save that for a, a weekend with, like here, I can just get rid of these. There are a bunch of stuff I don't need, I don't want. We'll save that for another video, just like mass open tons of stuff. Maybe we'll, we'll do these two once we get our gold down a little further again. And just to clear them out, you know, it keeps building up to 900, 900 chests again. Can't even get through them. I think these are all 600s. I used one of these this morning to, to finish my second, oh, there's a 450 to finish my second run on the portal to give me uh, enough to buy two legendaries. Um, so that was helpful. All right, so what are we going to do? Well, first of all, we will go look at our hero. And it looks like we can do nothing, all right, fantastic. We'll have to buy some of these, but let's look at our relics. So we got enough relics to upgrade that one. Prevents mages from using spells. I've seen a couple of people using that. I'm not sure if I want to or not, but for now we're gonna hold off. Increases the number of Dark Souls. This one, hopefully I can get that up because 
that, I think I'm at 7%, the next one's gonna be nine. I mean, that was pretty huge, actually. Um, but as I as the portals close, I can pretty much remove that one. They don't need it, and I can fill another spot. Um, that was huge. That was what basically allowed me to get that second legendary item, so very useful. This one, I for sure want. I'm going to upgrade this one for sure. Every spell used by an allied mage, and this is, you know, constant, so we're 100% doing that one. Get that to level 2, which will, uh, 200 spell power is up by 200, plus a 5500 damage. Fantastic, that's a very good one. Carpet Kaboom, not ready to go to the next one yet. So you see I already upgraded that to level 2, because that was one, another one I was using. Not you. Um... Is it? Um, yeah, we'll come back and look at some of these side ones as well. But just looking at the big ones here, this one we could upgrade. But I, just, I don't know if this is ever going to be useful. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Blinds all enemy archers. Okay, well that's nice. Are they always that way? They are. Oh, I didn't see that before. That's nice. Blinds all enemy archers. A blinded fighter is guaranteed to miss when attacking. Lasts for eight seconds. Right now we're lasting for one point eight. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, because it's for archers. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's interesting. Has its use at that moment, I think. Increases the amount of glory received by attacking other players. That, you know, it's just kind of a extra thing sitting in the, the back that's kind of useful. It puts us up to seven on that one. Probably do that one. This is an active skill I'm not going to be using right now, so I'm going to look at that. Plus, I don't have enough. This one I would like to upgrade, but I need more. Increases the damage done by allied units by 1%. And then I think we go to two next. Yeah, so we'll do that next. All right, so right now we're going to do that one, which is 1,500. Mm, that one, which is 1,500. And what do we have here for our tanks? You can level this guy up. This is the default, you know, not ma massively useful. Even maxed out. Lowers the physical and magical armor of enemy warriors to zero for 10 seconds. So that's pretty huge if you can get all the way up there. But we're obviously a long ways from that. All right, increases the relic, increases the number of badges of courage received in a tournament. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, of course that is useful. I got to do more tournaments. Um, so we're at five percent. We'll go up to seven next. I think is what that is. Yeah. yeah at some point, not right now. I don't think this one. Of course, I want to upgrade. What will be the next one? Three random for nine percent. But we gotta get a lot more before we're ready. And this one we could upgrade as well. An enemy fighter, yeah, this is a small chance, but if it is, it's huge. Disarm for three seconds. And the next one is 7% chance to disarm for three seconds. We actually have enough to do that one twice, probably. So, um, all right. So we have a basic idea, one of each, more or less, right now. Um, but let's see if there's something else I wanna use, because right now I don't need my uh, portal, portal one anymore. Increases the number of Dark Souls. We can unequip that one. Um, Corpse Kaboom is active. You're active. You are active, and you are active. So down here, and that's also active. All right, so we got three of them, which are not. This one is spell power. This is 100% yes, equip. Um, this one also. All right, now let's get nervous time here. What do we have here? So we have increases the number of badges of courage received in the tournament. Didn't I? Oh yeah, I was just looking at that one. So only you need to have that one when I'm in a tournament. So if I pay attention. And enemy fighters down, 5%. Increases the amount of glory received in attacking other players. I think I need to do this one, right? Increases the damage done by allied units by 1% for each enemy killed. Like for Jim Bay and stuff, that's gonna be helpful. The dungeon that'll be helpful. So I think I need to do this and then this, right? Put some 208. So we took off. Let's look at this one more time. Increases the number of souls, so we'll put that in for the weekend. Increases the number of glory received for attacking other players' castles. I mean that is what I will be doing more, so I'd probably want to keep that. Increases the courage and badges and tournaments. I'm not gonna be doing tournaments right now, so we're gonna Unequip that one. Let's turn it this one. Glory received when attacking, so we're going to put that one back in. Yeah, so we have damage, damage, and spell power. So I think that's good. That puts the 208. 
All right, and let's, uh, does that not even change our whole power? Anything good here? Yep, keep it going, good. So overall power puts us up to 214, 3140. But not really doing anything, we got an extra 20K, nice. All right, we're on our way to 3.2. All right, so I said I wanted to do the ring, the mage ring. Wait, let's see how much ether we have first. Twenty, we're going to buy two. Well, the ether one was a guarantee, so we're going to do that one right there for not the ether, the the mage guaranteed on that one. We're only going to be able to do two, so let's see what we'll do for the other one. So we'll go back to hero, you, mage, ring, hundred percent. Where's our power? We're not going to see it anywhere. Okay, that's fine. That's going to put us up to okay. That's a two. Um, so once we get six more, we can do that one again. So I wanted to do that. Oh, let's see I can do two other things with this. Increases magical armor. We'll save that one. Increases a crit. Hmm, that could be helpful, but right now I'm going to leave that one just like it is. So I had two other choices. This one is no. Oh, it is a yes. So mithril shackles can go up by one or not you. Is it you? No. Yes, but that's not the one I want. That was the other one, I guess. The amount of glory received for attacking other players. I mean, it's nice, obviously, but is that really well spent when I can get something else that will actually help me get stronger? Which was what? This one. I think I need to do that one. So we'll go back to... Okay. I'm going to go back to the store. Nope. Sorry. All right. We're going to go back to the dungeon store. We're going to buy warrior. Is that what I said? Yep. Warriors. One of the other things I've been considering, and maybe we'll take a quick think on it now, is to spend 3,500 gems to give me 70,000 ether. That'll allow me to, to build up a couple of these other a little bit more. Definitely considering that. Boom, okay. So I can do that one again. What's that putting me up to? So I would need an extra 1,400. I'll put it to 9%. Three, three seconds, 9% chance for three seconds. So every one in 10, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, I still, anybody who's listening to this, if you're still listening, why is it that my hero is blue? And I see so many other people with red. I know a lot of them are further along than I am, so I don't know, is that something I get when I level up my first one, like level three? Or do I need to hit like a certain power up here? Or what is it? How come I'm blue and they're all red? Or is that just because you always look blue to yourself and everybody always looks red? Anybody knows, please leave a comment, let me know. I have been wondering that for a long time and I just have not looked it up for some reason. All right, so let's take one quick look at my crazy ideas. We have 17,000 diamonds. You know what? We're, gonna, we're not going to do anything until after the update tonight. Because if they're going to, you know, release some kind of crazy deal or some kind of something, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to hold off because I don't want to be stupid and waste a bunch of diamonds. So we will hold off. Answer my own question there. But if we do consider it, we're thinking the 70,000, I looked at all these, all three of these on the bottom, Ooh, you can only buy them one time every, probably once a week, I guess. That's interesting. They limit the amount of diamonds you can spend. Um, so 70,000, but they're all the same cost per per diamond. So, um, so 70,000 gets us, you know, seven times two, so 14,000 um, of whichever we're looking for here, or split. It would certainly be enough to maybe we'll wait till we get some more some more uh, relics. We can power some of these up a little bit more. And like this one, I could power up immediately. Um, some of these side ones we certainly could do as well. Because um, ether is going to be the way to go to get these guys up for sure. So, All right, we're going to stop on that for now. We'll, uh, we'll revisit that one tomorrow once it gets to, and maybe at the end of the event once we see see where things are. So let's see, that should put us up to 3150, is it? 3155, nice. Um, 
So do I want to, I don't think I have any purple or useful blues here. I got blues, but I don't like useful. Well, armor, there's a crit, magic damage. We have some dust now, so we could, let's look at our, I gotta spend some of this, some of the gold, because tomorrow I'll be fighting some of the uh, people on my map, and I don't want to waste the gold, so since I have the gems, so we want to enhance, I think, or do I want to merge? Let's go down here real quick. So we have a, I thought I had a crit, so I got a full crit up there. Do I have a full crit up here? I do, I have one, two, three of them. Leah. Leah. Leah, all right. So we could Leah, purple Leah. Let's take a quick look and see if we wanna do this. So merge, make sure it's Leah, and it is, use, okay. And we could use, so it's a 50. And this is only a 30, so it'd be an 80% chance. Is that worth? Because then I have to put those back up again. Or should I just work on maximizing some of the others first? I think I do want to do that. So we're gonna go back to enhance. We'll enhance some of our blues. We got a few up there now. So Leah and this is my, uh, we're not gonna do that one since we might get rid of it. As a matter of fact, no, I need to spend some time thinking now's not the time to do it. Uh, that one also is an unknown. So let's go to our, here. Crit maxed. Well, this is Leah. Yeah. Um, here's another four nine. So those are the three maxed. We could maximize that one. And we can max that dodge there. And those we actually need to obviously upgrade those. I wonder if that'd be worth it. Upgrade our greens to get her into something better. Let's do that. Let's get Leah out of these greens. So we got fire, madness, necklace. So we got magic, magic, and health. Who is that? Leah? Leah. All right. So we're gonna go enhance gems, enhance greens. We got a lot of maxes there. I don't think any of hers are, but I didn't really pay enough attention. So Leah, nope. We got a lot to go through here, we got 11. All right, there's Leah, Fire of Madness necklace, so use. Is that gonna cost us eight? So we'll go to seven, yep, do it. And you, use it, do it. 300,000, I didn't get rid of very much of our uh, gold though. All right, so that's one. Um, Leah Fire Madness, use, all right, we'll use purple this time. 54 of them, okay. Use, we'll just try to save a little bit on our, our gray dust. That way only six, that was better, 300,000. And because I'm forgetful, I don't remember what the other one was, I'm thinking dodge. I'm sure you guys know, much better memories than I have. Heart, health, yep, see, look, I was wrong. All right, nope. Gems, enhance, health, Leah. Oof, look at all those, wowzer. There's a lot of health, a lot of green health. So we have a lot of a lot of spots that we can do some improving for sure. It's a soft fire madness, but I didn't see what was on. It was on nobody, I guess. Leah, fire of madness. All right, that's the one. So use. We'll go blue this time. Use 402. I use them all. Let's just do it. Do it. That puts us up to what? How many of these would we need to use? Use so two, okay. Use 34, okay. And then the rest here. 
since we don't have many six left. There we go, that's 900,000 we've used. All right, so in order to merge, we would need magic damage, magic damage, and health. I'm gonna start with health, obviously. Obviously in my head anyway. Let's make sure we don't have any others. We don't. So we'll just pick a health down here. There's so many, I gotta clean so much stuff up. Use, I used so much of my other dust already that I don't have tons left, okay. Use, okay. All right. So that's that one. Let's just do one more. We'll do two at a time, and we'll see if we got enough dust left after. That was a magic. So we'll use you. Use. Okay. So we've used a lot of dust and gold. We'll be using a bunch more gold here in a minute, but um, I just don't have a lot of dust. It just goes so quick. All right. So now we want Leah for health. Leah, use you. Use you. So we're at we're at seventy percent. I mean, I could do a guarantee. Do I want to waste that on that though? I mean, quote unquote waste. Given how much. Oh man, this is only ten percent ad. Yeah. Is that just really stupid? Probably considering I have seven of the others. Nice. One for one, good. Okay, um, there we go, we got our gold down a bit there. So we got a magic U, we gotta go to a maxed out up here, Leah, both of them are her, right? Yep, use, use, we got four of these guys though, that's crazy. Nice, all right, two. All right, now do we have enough to so we need another, this is Leah, yeah, another magic armor. Use, okay. Let's just use it all and see where we're at. Use, okay, now we leave our orange dust for a little bit. All right, good. So we got a little bit left if this one fails and we have uh, Something we can do. So we're gonna merge. Do one quick check. Info Leah. Yep. Use. Good. Go here for Leah. Where'd you go? Oh. Didn't go far enough down. Use. Okay. Good. Use you. One point five again. Please don't fail. Nice. Whew. So now let's go take a look at Leah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why 78? <clears throat> I think I'm up to about 20, but she doesn't have any greens. It looks so much better with no greens. I mean, obviously, we still need to max out our blues, but. So there we go. We have Evan, no greens. We have Leah, no greens. Jerry's got a ton of greens, way too many. Anthony's got quite a few. Ken's got an obscene amount. And even Julie has a couple. I think that'll be our next. The problem is, I think with that ring, I didn't or the necklace, I wasn't sure I was going to keep it. So, um, but it only costs like ten to remove a gem at this point. So it's probably worth just keeping. All right, let's. I think that's enough. Enough work for today. We'll take a little quick look and see where we're at. Um, what do we think? We were at five, 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 or three, one, five, five last time. For some reason I thought it was 20, but I don't think so. That would be 3175 for greens to blues. That's way too much. So it's probably 3162. Ah, 3160. Close. But hey, we're getting there. That's another, what, 40,000 on there? Take that. And we got some options for other things that we can do as well. So uh, we're making progress. We really need to, I need to find time to spend more, one or two times a day, I think I need to start getting into the dungeon because I just get, you know, lots of ether, lots of relics, and lots of ways to power up my my hero my hero is incredibly weak 223 now which you know is a big improvement where i was but compared to a lot of people it's just so weak i think that is something i really need to work on um but it takes time every time you do a dungeon it, it kind of depends on who you're going with 
Um, there's a guy in my clan that's about my power level. Sounds like he's a lot weaker than I am, but um, if I can work something out with him, that way I can have somebody I know and you know expect and can have consistent results. So I need to try to work that out and get my get my guy up because I can easily you know get up to six eight hundred thousand with you know just doing some grinding, which puts me up to what add another five hundred three point six million. Still way weaker than most, but you know it's it's a good step in the right direction. So I think that will do for today. Uh, anything else we need to talk about? We talked about the event. We opened up a few of those. Lots more for another day we'll do. We powered up our hero. We opened all of our chests. Yep, I think we're good. So uh, we will be back. I'm still trying to get some other other games going. There's a ton I want to do, as a matter of fact. Um, just need to make the time. There's a bunch of other things that I do around the house. I don't have a lot of time. Um, so we'll be getting some other games going on. Um, let me know how you are progressing through the event. Are you sticking with it? Are you giving up, waiting for the next one? Um, how close are you to getting anything, or getting everything for that matter? Uh, let me know. Keep the comments going. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.